how would you sum up the squad that you've named today? Um, it's a good balance of experience. I think, you know, we've got nine coming back from last year. I think we've had a good Six Nations, although we haven't hit our straps. We haven't performed as well as we would like, but we've had tough games and we've come through them. Um, and to win the championship is a credit to the players. Has that added confidence and excitement to the group? I think it's added a, a confidence and excitement, yeah, both those things. But I think more, imp more importantly, it's pointed out that we haven't really hit our potential. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that with the right preparation now going into the tournament and guys coming back from injury, we've got two or three coming back from injury, now we're going to join the squad, that we'll get the right blend right and that we can, we can get another 25 to 30% out of our performances. Certainly with ball in hand but and ball in attack, I think we can be really exciting and we, there's more to come there. I think our defence is super. We really have only conceding five tries, I think, in the whole of the tournament, which is, is no mean feat. It's a credit to everybody involved. We can take a lot of positives from the tournament, but, but we know from our potential side that we've got a little bit more to come. Irrespective whether it's a World Cup or not, it's about the shirt. And I think we've got to get some pride and ownership in the shirt. It's a shirt they own, and they only own it for a short period of time. They've got to make the most of it before passing on to the next person. And I'm very fortunate, or we're very fortunate, this group of players, that the legacy of last year's group benefited from the legacy of the group year, year before in terms of this competition. If you win, you get seeded number one for the following year. So for instance, winning in New Zealand last year was seeded number one. So it should give you a favourable draw in terms of the teams we've got. We're looking at the teams, they're all tough anyway, so it's very difficult. So there's an obligation for these players to not just respect the shirt they've got and leave it in a better place and pass it on to the next person, but they need to leave a legacy in terms of the generation that comes behind them. So hopefully they will take that on board and, and, and the expectation and the honour as well of representing your country in a World Cup to say actually I can look back and I've done it and I've left a legacy for the next generation to come through.